You got a bubble. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. Do you see? Oh my gosh. Look at all the bubbles. And they're all just laying on the grass. Uh, today we are officially starting our summer break from school. Yay. And I got Charlotte and Megan some like a little gift bag full of like little goodies, you know, to be like, yay, it's summer. And one of the things that they had gotten was these bubbles. Show the bubbles. It was this bubble wand and Charlotte came outside to um, blow some bubbles. And, oh, oh, that's a big bubble. It's a big bubble. And uh, yeah, so all the bubbles are in the yard now. <laughs> oh, I love when y'all come running at me. Y'all are just the cutest things ever. Hi, baby girls. Hello. I don't have any treats right now. So yesterday, uh, we had our farriers come out and um, trimmed the pig's hooves. And I wanted to uh, show you what that looked like. Uh, we're going to go check and see how they're doing right now. But um, I'm actually going to insert the clip that I was able to get from yesterday. I went over to Tractor Supply and got some panels to kind of like help corral the pigs uh, to make it a little bit easier because the first time that they were here, let me tell you, it was like a little bit of a rodeo. It was a little ridiculous. I'm sorry. I just came in or I just came outside from inside. So, you know. Anyway, so yeah, it was a little bit of a rodeo because we were having to chase the pigs and grab them and flip them over to get their nails trimmed and it was it was a little ridiculous and so you know the pigs are a little bit bigger this time so we wanted to make it we wanted to make it a little bit easier so went to the store and got some panels and was able to corral them and I'm going to show you I'm going to insert the clip Fred is always interrupting me doesn't matter does it does it not matter what I'm doing He's always interrupting me so I apologize there the pigs are right now they're kind of hanging out in the pool <laughs> um, anyway so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert a clip now of uh, yesterday's little event so it actually went pretty well Beth protests she she was just really protesting and I'm gonna let you know now that um, I'm really sorry that I was not able to get like the best footage of when we had Bruce because I was trying to like hold up one panel so that um, if for some reason Bruce had like escaped their grip or something. I didn't want him like getting out or Beth getting out. And I didn't want to be like the one to like screw things up. So I was just going to stay right where I was holding up the one panel. <laughs> and I'm sure everything would have been fine. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and insert that right now. <laughs> You're doing great, Beth. <sighs> Keep it up, it's a dollar squeal. <laughs> oh, better Bruce. He's just like, oh, what's happening? Do I need to do something? Thanks, He's like, God damn it. <laughs> I know they're coming for me too. <laughs> See all this good like this part? Yep. And then leaving that inner part alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the inner part is fleshy. Not like a dead right. Gotta be. And then you gotta take these down a little. You know, had to be laying in the mud. <laughs> it wasn't mud when we yeah. first got him in here. She knocked all the water off. <laughs> Beth! <laughs> You're acting just like Beth doesn't. <laughs> Bruce is probably thinking, can I lift up this fence and get out of here? <laughs> Only see you growling. <laughs> we did a pair of pigs a while back. Um, we had trim tusks in all of them, on oh, one man. of them. That was a, a fun job. Yeah, I bet. It was a real rodeo. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry, Leah. Hey, now. <laughs> oh, lovely. Thank you, Beth. 
I'm glad I moved my foot. <laughs> oh, no, she's, she's pooping. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what I think about it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. It's alright, buddy. Easy, easy, Bruce. Easy. Bruce. Come big man, come down. y'all grab the leg. Get him. Get him. There we go. There we go. Good boy, Bruce. There we go. It's all right, Brucey. Hey. Bruce. He's full of sleep. So I could not, like I said, I could not get like the best footage of when we were getting Bruce's uh, feet trimmed. But he is just, you know, he'll protest like one or two times and then he's just, he's fine. He's just, he's like, okay, I give up. I'm just gonna lay here. The first time we had his hooves trimmed, it takes like, you know, a minute or two to like trim their nails and then we let him go. And I was like, God, is he asleep? Because he didn't get up right away. And we're like, hey buddy, you know, kind of like patting him. And he's just like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get up. <laughs> and then he finally gets up. But anyway, he's really silly. Anyway, this is how they're doing now. Bruce and Beth, they got a new pool yesterday. So they are very, very happy. This pool is a lot bigger than um, their last one. They can both fit in here a lot easier than the last one. We do still have their old one. I'm gonna get in the shade here a little bit more. They're chilling in the pool now. Uh, we have their old pool still because tomorrow they're gonna be getting a new animal shelter. And I'm super excited about that because the shelter that we have for them now that TJ and Megan have put up, it served its purpose, but it's spent. It's <laughs> so we're getting in a new shelter. It's coming tomorrow. Super excited about that. And, um, but while that is being delivered, um, we are going to kind of bring the pigs over into the goat area because the goats have a lot of grass over there and coon coonies, they, they like a lot of grass. So we want to make sure that we can get them in there so that they're out of the way when they bring the shelter over here and they can just be in a nice area where they can eat up all the grass, help us handle that. <laughs> and, then that and then they'll have their, pool, their old pool over there so that way they can have access to water. Uh, there's plenty of shade over there, so I'm not worried about that. They'll have their food, plenty of grass to, to chew on. And then that way nobody's in the way uh, when they're doing all that. So that is the plan for tomorrow. You, you saw in the video, um, Beth, Beth, that girl, <laughs> she is a trip. She is just really not having it. Like she stayed still, and then um, as soon as as soon as they were done with their with her feet, they let go of her, and she just kind of like froze like a statue, and then like rolled over, and then got up. <laughs> She's such a silly pig. These two, um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we're gonna get some piglets soon. Um, I had to learn a few things. I think I'm pretty sure it's what's actually going on because there was like one day it was just like out of the blue where just Bruce was not eating anything it's like god you know he hasn't touched his food I mean he's he's actually a little concerned and kind of was like patting him and he was he's alive he's breathing he's fine and he'd get up and kind of casually move around and stuff but he wasn't eating and I called the vet the vet actually was not very much help at all. So then I called our farrier because they're familiar with pigs and goats actually. Um, and they said, well, you know, with goats, this is what the males do when it's, when it's rutting season, that males will just, um, you know, they won't, uh, they'll kind of cut back on their food a little bit. It's kind of like trim up, <laughs> you know, for their, you know, to get themselves ready and everything. And that's probably what Bruce was doing. She says, do you know if they're in heat? And I said, well, you know, he's been kind of hanging around the rear end a lot. And um, anyway, come to find out that that's what was going on. I Googled it and that's what pigs will do too, is that they'll for like between eight to 48 hours, they will, um, they'll just 
cut back either cut either stop eating altogether or cut back on their food they're not going to make, make themselves starve it usually only lasts about two days or so and that's exactly what happened with bruce it lasted about two days by the third day he is back to his normal self again he's good he's eating he's drinking he's fine so but i'm hoping that that's what that means is that pretty soon you know we'll have some piglets running around which would be super exciting cannot wait for that that's pretty much all that's going on here they're getting a new animal shelter they got their hose trimmed you know we still got a few more weeks before the goats need to get their their hooves trimmed so there's the pigs old pool and as you can see we've got like a lot of grass over here and i think that's going to make the pigs very happy um they'll be able to eat up all the grass that they want um the goats they don't touch this they like the pine needles they like everything that is like way up out of their reach at this point they've eaten a lot of stuff they got a lot over there still to eat and uh if you can see like way back there there's like where I didn't mow, um, the pigs will be able to eat all of that and uh, I think they'll be pretty happy. So that's it, that's all I have for you today. I'm sorry that it was a short video, but I just kind of wanted to share what was going on with the pigs. I'm sorry that I couldn't get better footage. <laughs> but um, anyway, if you like this video, I sure hope that you did. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, and share with somebody you love, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.